what's going on guys it's quick switch from the quick switch media here and today we will be uh kind of doing something i'm a little late on uh sorry about being late on this uh really wanted to do this more early but my week schedule didn't allow me to do it that quickly uh so what we're talking about today as you can see already we're talking about Power of the Primes and new Power of the Primes reveals that we got at New York Comic Con. And uh, I already took a look at all of these pictures. I I gotta say, uh, God, guys, um, I I'm I'm not really impressed by these overall. Uh, these really, really, really. Uh, got me sad about my expectations for Power of the Primes since I at least saw like really good figures, but then these are just total disappointments. I'm going to just talk about these uh, today, but first, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that all the pictures I'm using are at plasticconnoisseur.com. So, yeah, make sure to check them out if you want to see them for yourself. And today, we're first taking a look at Deluxe Class Terror Con Cutthroat. Of course, these guys will combine to form Abominus. Uh, and whoa, this is kind of like the first, uh, the first of the figures that, that got me really mad. I mean, I do see some sparks of engineering put into it, but basically what happens... You fold out the arms from the side, you fold down the wings, fold down the head, and under it, I suppose, is the robot head. And then just fold up the, the creature legs and extend the, the robot legs, and you have a robot. Uh, while this is kind of appealing to many people, uh, I still don't really like it. Uh, I do have a lot of negativities about this guy. Uh, especially this one, because it's, it's one of the better ones, I gotta say, but, uh, but to me it's just weird how the wings are not in a really neutral position, uh, but yeah, overall, he's just a disappointment, but yeah, let's go down to the next one, which is Deluxe Class Sinner Twin, uh, oh, uh, this is one that I got really mixed opinions on, because we can still see that kind of simple, simple thing uh, that we had with Cutthroat, but it's just worse here. Uh, I mean, his robot mode is kind of cool, actually. Uh, I kind of like his robot mode. But but the creature mode is just so simple, and the whole transformation is just so obvious. Uh, but still one of the better ones, I gotta say. Uh, I will express it the, at the end of the video which ones I will most likely end up buying out of these. Uh, so yeah, overall, he's just a disappointment too. Uh, coming further down the lane... We have probably the most disappointing out of the batch, and that is Voyager Class Terracon Hunger. Oh my god! Hasbro, what the hell were you thinking? Like, seriously. See, the robot mode, it's, it's, it's okay. It still has a lot of problems, but then we come to the dragon mode. And and look at look at the front legs of that dragon. That that is so stupid. It it looks so dumb. And 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 uh, I gotta say, it just it just looks lame. Here too, it's just like so predictable what happens with the transformation. I don't know. This this is just a big pass for me. Hunger is someone I would definitely not buy, cause cause that beast mode, that's really disappointing. I'm sorry, but that's just really disappointing. That beast mode. Uh, and coming down the line, we have Deluxe Class 
Terracon Blot, and, uh, you know, I, I really like Blot, because, like, not this figure, I liked Blot as a character, he had many good figures, uh, over the years, and I like how strange he is with his modes and everything, but here, Hasbro just kind of took a dump on the whole character, and just said that, well, nobody's going to care about Blot, and just made this. Which doesn't even, I mean, if you look at it, transformation, so damn predictable. And Hasbro is the one who's saying that generations from now on will be more targeted to the more uh, older audience of Transformers. Here, I see less engineering than a freaking Robots in Disguise figure. I'm not saying Robots in Disguise is bad. I'm saying that it's simpler and it's more to the younger audience. So, Hasbro, if you say that you want these to be for the older audience, then make it actually that. Okay? So, yeah, I, I do not like Blot. Uh, interesting. Might pick him up just to see what he is all about, but... To me, now, at the moment at least, he's definitely a pass. Uh, coming now to someone who we've actually kind of seen, uh, is Terracon Ripper Snapper, and sorry, I'm just going to have to adjust the screen, of course, I'm using freaking Bandicam. Uh, so the next one is Ripper Snapper. Uh, Ripper Snapper is the one who had many concepts uh he we even saw the gray uh mold uh just a few months ago when when Hascon was was happening and um till uh in that time they actually did improve on some things that I actually pointed out that that were problems at least on on my part but uh I'm I'm not sure if I should get this. He's definitely looking like an interesting choice. Uh, he's he's actually kind of good. If you look at the robot mode, it's it's accurate. It's cool, and there I think there's enough change in uh, to the beast mode. Uh, I just like it. If if I would buy a Terracon. That would be him or Blot. Uh, I don't like him too. I don't like him. As I said, I'm hugely disappointed with what they did to the Terracons. Uh, but Blot and Ripper Snapper are like actually good. So, uh, then we come to the Prime Masters. Uh, the first one is Alpha Trion. Uh, I, I do not plan on getting any of these Prime Masters. To me, the gimmick is just stupid now. Uh, I don't know, I don't really like the this, this one. Particularly this one, I think it's just a big disappointment. I don't like him, uh, or, or the Alpha Trion Prime Master. I don't really think it's a good one. But uh, I think many people will enjoy it. I, uh, to me, I don't really want to express thoughts on Prime Masters because I don't really care for them. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't really want to kind of actually express my thoughts on them because I don't like them. I, I don't really care for the gimmick. Uh, and then coming further down, we got Vector Prime, who is coming with Metal Hawk. And, uh, Vector Prime? Uh, nah, nah. As I said, I do not care. I do not care for him. Uh, and then coming down is Alchemist Prime. Kind of a strange name. Uh, still nothing, not interested at all. Uh, and then coming down to Legends, first. We have Scrapnel. He gets re-released. Uh, now, uh, in some ways, I, I think this is actually a very good idea uh, to, to make... To, to
to re-release the the old scrap normal wood because uh, of course we now have all three insecticons and the old scrap gnome was released so long ago that it actually might be really hard to get your hands on the original now and uh, his color scheme didn't really match up with the color scheme that the new ones have have uh, he had more of a really bright yellow while the new insecticons had uh, more of a of a of a deep uh, kind of yellow, uh, really metallic yellow. So I actually like him being re-released. I might even get him. I don't know, but still, I think he's actually pretty cool. Uh, coming down further is Wind Charger. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, pretty damn lazy. Uh, now I don't know if this is a remold of uh of uh what like uh Beachcomber, who I absolutely adore the new mold of. I love that. I will get that. Uh, but this one, ah, I mean the face looks so not Wind Charger. Um, the the vehicle mode looks very cool, but. The, the the robot mode it's it's just so it I don't like it a lot. It it looks kinda weird to me. But many people like it, so I'm not against anything. It's still just a better one out of all of these. Uh and then uh we had the last reveal, which was a leader class. We kind of already saw, but in a different paint scheme, and that is Rodimus Unicronus, of course, the black and purple repaint of Rodimus Prime, the leader class evolution figure. And here, I gotta say, the at when when Rodimus Prime was revealed, I really liked him. But I wasn't sure that I'm going to get him because to me there was not a a whole lot of differences uh, between the normal mode and the evolution and the evolved mode of of the figure and uh, and 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 like there was not a new head sculpt the head sculpts look kind of looked kind of similar. So overall, I didn't really like uh, that, but now I actually adore this paint scheme. This looks like a paint scheme I love, and uh, to me now here there is enough differences uh, in the two modes to uh, me being actually impressed. Uh, I like that uh, evolved head sculpt kind of looks like a cop. <laughs> I know it, it looks kind of cool. So if if I'm going to get a leader, this one I love, and it's actually inspired by a comic which I didn't know of. Uh, so yeah, definitely going to get this. This is the one I'm I'm actually really impressed with. Uh, I like this guy. I don't know if we got no, we didn't get any others other reveals. So, overall guys, uh, what do you think of these reveals? Uh, to me, the things I will buy will be Rodimus Unicronus and Blot. These are the two figures that I'm planning on buying, but there will definitely be alterations because there are many different better figures out there coming in the in the figure in, in the waves before these ones are coming but Rodimus Unicronus is someone that I will wait for I won't buy uh, Rodimus Prime I want Rodimus Unicronus I will wait for that uh, so technically because I, I want to be my first leader evolution to be that Optimus Prime one that looks really cool and then if I'm getting the 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 evolution Rodimus mold then it's going to be Rodimus Unicronus so yeah these were just my opinions on the series on the new reviews definitely kind of uh, 
kind of, kind of, kind of a disappointment, you know. I mean, the Terracons are ruined, are absolutely ruined, and I'm so sad <laughs> that uh, that the Terracons didn't uh, didn't get the right treatment. At least a few of them didn't get a, get the right treatment. So overall. Uh, I am very, 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 very disappointed in Hasbro, uh, besides this Rodimus Unicronus. Uh, but tell me your opinions in the comment section down below. Uh, just a warning, please guys, don't write, everyone has opinions, so if someone has a different, different opinion than you, please don't be uh, evil to him or her. It we all have uh we all have preferences. So just be kind to each other, accept each other's uh uh what like opinions, but you can share your opinion down in the comments. Uh so yeah, just share your opinion down in the comments below and also if you go down there you should like this video, that helps a bunch. And if you really, really like this video and aren't subscribed yet, make sure to do that and press on that bell to make a notification happen once I upload. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I was Quake Switch, and I will see you on the other side. Peace!